right, now we're gonna do a little video on making the surgical caps. These, I've been asked to do them for our local hospital because they have to wear a lot more PPE than they normally do. And so the caps help keep their hair out of their face when they're having to change the masks and the, um, goodness, blanket on the word, for over their eyes, this makes it so they don't have to touch their face much, so the hair st stays out of their face. Um, so I'll link again to the free pattern. The pattern that I'll link to actually has two different styles, a flat top style and a bouffant. Um, the nurses at my hospital here have said that they don't prefer the bouffant, they like the flat top style. So that's what I'll be showing you because that's what I've been sewing. Okay. So you have two pieces, the tie, and this is the crown, it's the top that goes on top of your head. They are both cut on the fold, this fold right here, this fold right here. It's uh, made out of cotton woven fabric. So again, same fabric that you would use for your masks. It has no stretch. Uh, it's the same material that we, you would use for a quilt or a button-up shirt. Okay, so um, for each of the pieces, you will need two of them and the camera's falling. Okay, so for each of the pieces, stay, you need two cut out. And they're cut on the fold, so this fabric is folded in half already. Um, if you have a directional print like this is, this is the top, the more straight edge is the top, the rounded one is the bottom. So you wanna make sure it's uh, lined up the right way. Okay, if this could stay, that would be great. Stay, stay. I think I got that a little bit more secure. All right, so now the layout. Again, just like with the mask, you can use scissors. I use a rotary as I cut several at a time, and I'm doing a gajillion of these. So we just cut out around the pattern. And then you cut it out, you've got marks on it. Do you see this little dotted line here? It's easiest if you put a pin in it right now, it makes it save time later. I'm gonna do it on both layers of the fabric. So you'll need that for lining up later. So there's that one. Then we do the crown. And that is also on the fold. Direction doesn't matter so much for this piece. Let's see how I can do this. Make sure there's not wrinkles. All right, I'm gonna cut this out. This one has the same mark on it right here. You're gonna mark that now. Makes it easier later. Especially if you're doing a ton of them, it saves time. Okay, so we have the tie and the crown all cut out. I already cut out another one earlier out of a different fabric. This is reversible, so it's more fun. You do a different fabric. So we have, you have a total of four pieces for one cap. Okay, now we're gonna pin it. So we've got our two pieces. Now it's folded in half, so you've got your center right here. Like that. And this 
your tie piece. You also have the center. So it's the center of the side that you have those pins on. Take that center and this center. And they line up. And you pin that. And this is where the other ones come in. Those match up and you pin. So you're going around a curve. And those two line them up and you pin. And then you need to line it up between the two. You kind of have to stretch it a little bit to get it to go straight around the corner. And then same with the other side. So we've got it on mine. I have five pins, you know, let's do more, but from the pins that we placed from the marking on the pattern, you're going to be sewing from there around just to the other one. Now you have all of this that does not get sewn together because those are your ties at the back. That's what makes it adjustable. <clears throat> so we will do a straight stitch around that curve. not cooperating. All right, so you're just going around that curve on that one, and then you will do the exact same thing on your other fabric with your other print you'll do the exact same thing okay so i sewed the other one we've got that one now we're going to pin them together right sides together so the pretty prints together i start i blah, 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 i start at the ends the little triangly bits one gets pinned to the other Right there. Find the other one. Okay, so we got the two ends. sure it's all even all through that. And then you pin that. You've got the little tail here. So 
got the, the middle V stitch here. So you line up your, your weird corner Y seam there. Little end corners here. Sorry. <laughs> My camera stand is really wiggly. I didn't. <laughs> as far as I could tell, I was still in the same angle, in the same spot. So. No. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Gradually going. I'm up. also. We've got Lily Bell and Shadow my... down here, so I'm trying to make sure they stay apart and we've don't start squabbling. We've been getting to see my Funko Pop wall and my. My messy cutting counter. That's a disaster Sorry about that. right now. Okay. okay, well, I can't see. Okay, so. no, you can't. Okay, so other corner, other end. Okay, so I've got it all pinned around, all of the raw edges left. To me, it looks like one of those weird little horseshoe crabs. No, we've got the flat side, this at the back. That's where I start because this is a nice straight seam. That's the easiest one to sew shut when it's all turned right side out. Now we'll sew around it and we'll go down here. Okay, I'm trying to keep it steady. I, I know. swear. I know you are. I know it's tricky when you can't see it at all. Okay, now this seam that we're coming on is kind of tricky. So I have at your Y here, I have the fabric all laying this way and you sew until you meet the seam. You sew till you're meeting the seam right here. Don't sew over your needle. You don't need to be breaking needles right now because you can't go to the store and get new ones. Now, then here, have it lay down. It's going to be a little bit bunched, but it, it works out really. laying down so I can sew to that seam. Now, 
now you want to cut your corners so you snip your two little tie ends you snip the corners of the the back piece and you've got your your Y seam here. You want to snip right to where you sewed. You don't want to snip into it, but you want to snip right to it. So that way when you turn it, it goes well. Okay, now you turn the whole thing right side out. Um, I use a knitting needle to get those corners. You can use a chopstick. My lovely children broke all of my chopsticks. All of them. Yeah. Okay, so I use my knitting needle so I can push out my seam. Along that seam, and then go to the other tie. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Those corners. There we go. Okay, so now we have this weird horseshoe crab shape. The not as busy side up so people can see. <laughs> and just kind of get it all all laid nicely. Pin that because I didn't iron my fabric. Okay. Now we're going to top stitch the whole thing. This is the only tricky part. Just make sure it's all laying all nicely. There. Ooh. Go right to the seam. Turn it and go the other way. Sorry. <laughs> sorry for everybody watching. I'm sorry it's shaky. You know how that works when you have to keep completely still, suddenly your body itches? Yes, yes. all of the feelings. Yeah.
is it. So, uh, um, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you're wanting to do the buttons for the elastic loops for the masks, you can sew those on. Check it on yourself about where right behind your ears are, and you can sew the big old buttons. But you then have a fully reversible, adjustable for different sizes, surgical cap. And that's it.